sometimes um, it feels like if you want to talk about things that are spiritual instead of physical, it's like a cuss word or something. People think if you want to talk about God, it's like you're somehow making their authority nothing or whatever. When some of us genuinely just love Him and Scripture and talking about Him, so if you feel like somebody is insulted by talking about him, then they're all about themselves or their family or their company and you really can't relate to them at that point unless they change because really what all they're doing is telling you like who are you to believe in God? Who are you to really say anything about him in front of me? because I only want to talk about my things and my company and myself and the things I've accomplished and you know when you mention God it's like who can compare to what he has done if you believe in him and uh, then they just they don't know what to tell you maybe they have a guilty conscience maybe they believe also but they feel like you're a, a fake but if you do believe in God you got to be patient with these people you got to know that we're all strangers here on earth and God is the one who it's his place and um, do what you can to obey the word help the fatherless the poor help the widow Help people in need, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, be a light of the world. Because we only have so much time. And Jesus is coming back. And, you know, there's people and the devils are so offended at the mention of God and the image of God. Look at all the hatred going on for about men. It's because of their image. And the devil hates it. So, just be patient with people who think it's dumb or strange to talk about God because really, I guess in their life, they have met fake Christians and it desensitized them to God. Like, it is evil to them. And um, try to associate with people who will believe in Him and truly love Him. And the way to tell if they love him is if they are doing what they can to obey his word not just saying oh yeah I have a book on Christianity or oh I listen to Christian radio sometimes or I know someone who believes like they have to have a prayer life have their giving and their charity and I mean some people may be secret Christians that you won't know they believe because their conscience says to not mention it because God is has told them to but otherwise we should not be we should not be ashamed of him and we should love him and be able to give up anything for him and I had to I had to uh, give up people friends some family members some things I just sold some stuff and um, I have things for sale in my shop I really don't consider this as a self-employment thing though because it's a small shop <laughs> but yeah they I give up jobs for him because at work and at work they if they don't believe and they're discriminating what they'll do is oppress you until you leave or tell you to leave. My last two jobs I've actually been one I've been fired and one I've been taken totally off the schedule. And now they had the audacity to do an appeal. So I have to go to phone phone court. And I won several cases and I got my unemployment. But they just keep battling with me about this. Really praying to find a stable job 
or know someone with a stable job that's willing to help me out. Oh, um, it's been so difficult. <laughs> but I'm okay keeping up keeping up the faith walk by faith not by sight, right? So it looks bad. Got bills, I got debt, I cannot see a way to pay it right now. And um I'm interviewing for jobs and things. Wish me blessings, and um, I'll see you in the next video.